friends. Today we are going to make Mama Morris's fudge. She would make this at Christmas time, and Mama Morris is my best friend's mother. And this is Lavonda and her daddy. We lost Mama Morris back in the fall last year, or actually uh, around Thanksgiving. And so Lavonda has tried to perfect her recipe because it was just kind of in her head. And I'm gonna let her tell about it. So we always knew that she used the Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream because it used to have Fantasy Fudge recipe on the back. They don't even put that recipe on the back anymore, but that was like mom's baseline. She would use that recipe and then she tweaked it. She didn't like so much sugar because that made it too grainy. She didn't like quite so much chocolate, it made it too rich. So she tweaked it over the years until she had it perfect. Like it was just fabulous. Wonderful texture, tasted wonderful. Everybody requests her chocolate fudge. <laughs> so she failed to write that down on how much she tweaked it. So we have done five batches <laughs> working on that to try to get that texture and that chocolatey taste just like hers. And we think we're there. So we'll make sure that it comes out that way before we, we have said, yes, it's absolutely And good. he remembered some bits and pieces, and so that helped. Yes. Because he would help. So, all right, what's the first thing we're going to do? So you're going to take um, two cups of sugar, three-fourths cups of margarine, and a small can of evaporated milk, which is about two-thirds of a cup is what you're going to use. Um, and those we're going to get ready to cook, put them in to boil. So I'm gonna let and them she's already buttered her pan over there. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm going to let Papa do the boiling of it because he's the master of it. Sugar. Was this your job probably with her too? She would do all the, the measuring and yeah. you did the... She would, <laughs> give, she would give out on the stirring because she had neck problems. So yeah. we always helped her with that. So he knew some of the secret. <laughs> uh, you want to put it on like a medium heat to get it warmed up so that it, it works up to that rolling boil and you don't want it to scorch in the process. Time to get warmed up to that rolling boil. It's almost melted. Now they did say that you want a thicker pot. Yes, it'll hold the heat better. Like a thick aluminum pot. Not not that thin. Yeah. We're almost there. So you want to get it to a rolling boil? Yep. Okay, he's setting the timer for five and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes. Now, if you are, they did say that when she would make it, she had a gas stove, and she would do it for just a four to four touch minutes. less. So, so, here we go with our rolling boil for five on this five and uh, and five and electric minutes. five and a half. It smells good too. Okay, we are almost there. The timer's fixing to go off at five and a half minutes. And you can see how the consistency has changed and it's turned just a little bit, you know, the, the butter. So he's going to move it over off of the the stove eye over here and we're going to add our, add our other. So. How much chocolate chips and are you putting in there? Um, eight ounces. Eight Semi ounces. Sweet chocolate chips. Semi sweet. Yes, not the milk chocolate. Okay, and then sh they're doing a small tub of this uh, marshmallow cream. Yeah, yeah. It's a seven uh, ounce. Seven ounce. Okay. You can go ahead and st I'd pour it. Go ahead and pour them marshmallow or uh, uh, you, you pour them. let it start melting it. Mm -mm. You put your nuts in later, later or now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After you get that. 
you could always do that. No. Cup of nuts uh, of your choice. We're using pecans today. And then how much vanilla? One teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla. She never measured. She just the yeah, cap full of vanilla. I got the hard part done. Yeah, he, we're letting him do that part. If you had a like a bigger spoon, you think it'd be easier, or that's what you're used to? Here I'm over here trying to tell them how to do it, and they're they're teaching me. <laughs> Be quiet, Christy, and let them do their thing. And I'll pour one cup of cons. These are those semi sweet. Okay. Get the pan ready. She's leveling it out, and then we're going to let it set. We'll try it later, but we'll, I think we're going to try the pot right now, aren't we? <laughs> Yay. Okay, we're going to try the pot. <laughs> we're going to try the pot and see if it's uh, if they did a good job. And it's, it's, it's going to be hot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes like hers. Good. As close as you can get it. As close as we can get it. It's not That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's real good. Too bad y'all can't have them. Mm. <laughs> You'll have to take our word on that, ma'am. You have to make it in order to taste it. Mm -hmm. It's real good. It's I'm so I good, I think say. I'm going to get another little it's bite. Good. We made snicker cake earlier that was hers too. And it was, oh, it was wonderful. Fabulous. So now we're making this. We're just doing a doing a weekend of recipes <laughs> from her. Oh, My goodness. My mama loves chocolate. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful, y'all. All right. That's going to be about right. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. Very pretty. All right, we're going to go ahead and go. Y'all try you some fudge. We'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye. Bye-bye.